For those of you still stuck on neutralization reactions, I thought this might help you. Think of this as a really quick workshop. All the acids you need to know are here, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid and nitric acid. All the base components are here, oxides, hydroxides and carbonates. I've got three examples of metals here, copper, zinc, sodium. And the metal with the non-metal part together make metal salts. So the non-metal part would be sulfate, chloride or nitrate. And then finally the other little bits we add onto the equation such as oxygen, water and carbon dioxide. So let's start off by choosing a random acid. I'll choose hydrochloric acid here. Now let's make a random alkali or base. So I'm going to take copper here. I'm going to make a copper oxide here. So we're reacting hydrochloric acid with copper oxide. What will we get? So firstly, the metal salt will obviously be copper because we're using copper in the reaction. And because we're using hydrochloric acid, we have to make a chloride. So the metal salt will be copper chloride. And obviously, when we react an acid and a base, we get water. So that's the only other thing that will be made. Just so you're getting this, if I put back the copper here and instead I chose zinc, then I would replace the metal salt with zinc. So we'd have zinc oxide plus hydrochloric acid will produce zinc chloride and water. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try sulfuric acid and this time I'm making a uh, base with sodium. So I've got sodium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. What's the metal salt I will make? Well, obviously the metal part would be sodium because I have sodium in the reactants and because it's sulfuric acid I will make sodium sulfate. So just move that down here and obviously again I'll make water because it's a hydroxide. So now let's return those. So now let's try nitric acid and this time I'll react it with a metal carbonate. I'm going to make zinc carbonate here. So obviously it's nitric acid so I know I'm going to make a something nitrate and obviously I'm using zinc so it'll be zinc nitrate. Now as always I always get water as well but now because it's a carbonate we also produce carbon dioxide. So now, if I was, for example, to change the alkali or the base, if I was to say, right, not zinc anymore, I'm going to make copper carbonate, the only thing I'd change this in the equation is I'd have copper nitrate as the salt. So this is a pretty nice way to play around with them so, until you get them. So if you're stuck, I recommend you try doing this. I hope that helped.